Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we're going to be on episode 111 now I believe of this series and yeah we have got one simulation to do today from the user Rusty Bot or I think they're also called um, Avatar00987 um, as well. I think they have two names like for Discord and, um, and Steam and all that. Um, so yeah, with that all out the way let's just get straight into the system they have sent in. So this system is called the, uh, if there's a load, it's called the ne Neptunian Guide explorer system apparently it's got a lot of like easter eggs and stuff and, and like loads of cool objects and stuff um we may have seen um at some point so we're gonna be go ahead and check this um out straight away okay right so this is my pr first proper solar system if you are a personal on youtube neptune guy there are some easter eggs about your channel okay that's pretty awesome and my old channel's name um, my new one is avatar play so yeah that's him that's him there um i should be in the comment section all right there we go so let's see what he has prepared for us they've got a nice um nice load of different orbits in here which um, looks pretty awesome so we've got um quite a lot of objects so there must be some rings going on but they're going to the star itself we have got um galactic kit on that is a beauty look at that that purple star <laughs> Look at that. First, like, custom star color. Um, other than that black one we saw, like, wow, looking good already. Right, so, yeah, there we go. Space Addict. I'm guessing that's his old username. I remember that name. That's been on the channel for quite a while. Um, right, so here we go. Here is the first of the planets. Lovely purple trail. I'm guessing it's going to be glowing purple quite heavily. Look, yeah, look, all of the yellow on it is now purple just due to the star's color. Yeah, that star color is really making it look different. Look at that. Wow. So, yeah, there we go there. So it's larger than Jupiter, a very nice mix of yellow and purple there as well. So there we go. Okay, then we got onto the moons here. We've got a very nice mixture of different colored moons, all lit up by the purple um, star. So I'm just going to put it on um, Studio so we can see them in, in their full glory. So yeah, here we go here. So that is the first moon. Uh, next moon, we have got this one over here. So this one's quite a nice um, blue shade of blue there. It's looking good with the darker blue, the, light, the lighter turquoise blue there. We've also got this one over here, which is a smaller micro-sized object. So there we go there. Then moving on to this one. We've got a um, slight bit of water on this one, but it's at 200 degrees. So a pretty hot world there. So there are those guys. And yeah, this planet also has some rings. I didn't even notice those. But yeah, there are some rings there. Very, very close to the planet, as you can see. So yeah, there we go. So there we are. Right, looking good. So that is the first planet of Space Addict there. So now moving on to the next object. we got Oberon out here. So um, I guess it's a very custom variant of it, though. As we can see, it's ultra, ultra red. So here we go here. More, it reminds me of Mars a bit, actually. with like the. Uh, I mean, from certain angles, from a distance. Sort of similar to Mars. Honestly, with the shade of orange, it's got obviously the north and south pole activated there, looking pretty cool. 167 degrees, um, a little larger than Earth um, in its um, stats there, we can see. We've also got um, OK Boomer, so we got this one here. So yeah, there we go. So it's a small asteroid object, as we can see there. So that's quite, I really like that. It's quite a good Mars lookalike, I have to say there. It's quite hot though, so it's not exactly like Mars for temperature, but yeah, there we go there. So there's Oberon. Now moving on to the next one. Okay, oh, okay, this one's looking good, so Explodius. Right, nice orange trail. This is where all the rings are at in this simulation. We've got pretty much all the colours you could imagine. Reds, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, purple. Um, I think there's a purple. No pink, but yeah, very nice mix of um, different colours there. Rainbow gas giant. So there we go. And there are its rings as well. So we'll just go off orbits and labels. So there we go. So there it is. Pretty big ring system, as we can see. Looks like they're the Saturn ring template. But obviously, this is a little smaller than Saturn, so it does look a little different. But yeah, there we go. Let's go on realistic. This is how it's intended to be looked. Look at that purple starlight. It makes the rings glow purple as well. Wow. Didn't know um, they did that. So yeah, there we go there. Cool. I like that. Right, and now moving on to the moons. So Okay, so the first one, we got Hawking over here. And wow, look at this. Got a ton of ice and snow on it. All frozen up there. So yeah, there we go. It's actually, it looks like an Earth. Is that an Earth texture? No, never mind. That's just me being silly, I think. Yeah, okay, never mind. I almost thought I saw Africa in there for a second. Uh, I think it was this area here. Almost um, caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not an Earth texture under there. But yeah, there we go. So that is the first object. Uh, now heading on to the next one. We've got Armstrong over here. So these are all named after people. Um, so there we go. So we've got Neil Armstrong's planet here. So there we go. Now we'll see Stephen Hawkins. Um, and then next up, we've got Neptunian. So over here, looking um, really nice indeed. So here we go. Very nice um, shade of blue on it. Definitely meets my approval. That's that's a nice the texture with it as well. I think that look goes really well with the darker blue, and then we get like the lighter blue and all the cracks and stuff. Look at that. That's that's a nice nice um texture. You've yeah definitely nice texture you've chosen there, um for that as well. And a lovely dark blue trail. Don't forget to mention that. So yeah, there we go. Lovely. Right now moving on to we've got Sedna over here. So it's a very orange looking Sedna compared to my own variant of it. But yeah, here it is. So yeah, very very orange looking Sedna. It's all by itself here, pretty much just the regular Sedna. Nothing um, else really there, other than it being um, slightly um, changed in colours. So yeah, there we go there. 
Then we've got Planet 9 out here. Slightly different variant um, from what we've seen um, from other people as well. So here we go. So this one is going with a turquoise sort of look with um, a light and a... Or, yeah, two shades of like light blue and then a turquoise, honestly. For a Planet Nine, that's that's not that bad looking. I think that I think that goes um, the color combination is quite nice there. I see it on the starlight, but oh oh look at that! Look how it looks in the starlight. That purple tint to it. Look at that, looking very nice indeed there. Then we have Cloud Nine over here, which is obviously glowing purple. But yeah, here is what it actually looks like right there. So yeah, there we go. So an, an, an all white object there in orbit of that really nice looking Planet Nine with the sunlight there. So there we go. There is Cloud Nine. Now we're heading on to the last object of the day over here. So we got this one over here. Right, so here we go. So I'm not even going to try pronouncing that. So yeah, sorry for that. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, now moving on to the moons. Actually, no, going back to the planet, actually, we'll get a, look, a little closer look at it on studio. So here it is. We've got a decent mixture. More more pale colours this time around, as we can see. It's still a nice mixture of different colours in there as well. So yeah, there we go. So it's more like greyish on the top, and then down it's a little more colourful in the south there. So there we go. Right, and now moving on to the um, smaller world. So we have this little asteroid here. So yeah, very small. Got some um, ice on snow on it as well there. So all frozen up. And then we've got um, Neptunoid over here. Okay, so there we go. With that lovely blue trail as well. So there we go. And then heading out to the last object, we've got Unibox over here. So we're going with a purple universe sandbox sort of purple trail color there. So yeah, there we go there. But there we go. Right, yeah, so that's everything, yeah. So, I believe that's... Oh, no, there's one more. No. And then we've got this last one out here, too. So, we're going with a nice um, sort of green, mint green looking trail color there. So, there it is there. Looking good. It's so cool they made asteroids actually have a little more appearance to them now. They look so much better. Um, but, yeah, there we go. There is that. And I believe that is everything for this system, guys. So, yeah, there we go. That beautiful purple star. Look at that. Such a nice shade of purple you've got there. So there we go. It's, it's weird seeing the star in a different colour still. Just because we haven't had too many of them. Alright, and now, yeah, moving on to the objects down here. So the purple star does look very strange. Right, so, um, yeah, there we go. It looks so weird seeing a purple star in the chart mode. But, yeah, out of all the planets, obviously out of the gas giants, this one's my favourite. Really like the mixture of yellow and purple. Good colour combination there. Um, second, I'd have to go the planet 9 for the gas giants there. And then moving on to the Rockies, it's got to be uh, this one here. I just I love the shades of blue you have put in there with the, tech, the chosen texture. The shades of blue, the blue cracks on it. I think that looks really effective. I think, I think that looks really, really cool. So, yeah, there we go there. And also liked the Mars lookalike as well. I think that's um, I think that's quite cool. I like that. So, yeah, really well done. Really like that. So, yeah, again, this simulation was made by um, Avatar00987 or RustyBot. Um, I believe um, they call themselves as well. So, um, yeah, there we go. That is their simulation. So, we'll just quickly open it again just so we can get the, um, the dialogue back up. So, um, yeah, there we go. Or the text, sorry. So, yeah, here we go. So, yeah, um, Avatar Plays. Yeah, so that's um, his username. So, all credit to him for this um, simulation. Yeah, very, very nice job overall. Pretty short but sweet one, I have to say there. So, yeah, very nice job. Like the names, really like the trail colours. And, yeah, very nice um, bunch of objects we got in here overall. Very nice um, mixture of colours and stuff like that. Really like the star. Looking great. So, yeah, that is everything, guys. But, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Also, let's see if we can get to 12,000 subscribers as we are less than 100 away now. So, let's see if we can try and push for that. That would be absolutely amazing. So, yeah, massive thank you um, all to that as well, guys. Really, really awesome stuff. And also, if you want to send in your own simulations, make sure to either join my Discord server, link in the description, where you can send me the link. Um, to it there where you can just literally drag your file into discord and then you can just upload the file um easy as that or you can let me know um, the name of it on the steam workshop um like this guy did um and yeah i can get it done um that way as well so yeah there we go it's been a while since we've done a steam workshop one but yeah there we go so that is everything so yeah other than that guys make sure you had a great day really hope you enjoyed the video and yeah that is everything so i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye